Almost every native Fijian we spoke to in our 25th anniversary trip to Fiji talked about their faith and their Christian faith. And it was amazing to talk with them and find out that most of them were Methodists. You see, in the 19th century, Methodist missionaries came to Fiji and converted the population from their broad spirituality to the Christian faith. And in 1874, when Fiji became part of the English colonies, Christianity became dominant across the islands. So Methodism was a big deal in Fiji. And a lot of the people we talked to went to Methodist churches. In fact, one of the islands had a Methodist church built in the middle, and they told me where their pastor's house was, and he was a Methodist pastor. I got to meet him. Pretty amazing. Now, it was interesting because then they would ask me about my denomination, my church, my faith, and I would start to try to explain to them about my little denomination I belong to, the Reformed Church in America, and how I got ordained, what's it all about, and what they believe. And inevitably, what would happen is the Fijians would kind of just go, you know what? It doesn't matter anyway. As long as you believe Jesus is Lord, that's all that really matters. That's an interesting statement. You know, it made me think, how about you? When people ask you about your faith or about your denomination or about the church you belong to, or the church you are part of, or the theology you believe in, is it possible that it's as simple as just believing and trusting and receiving and submitting to Jesus as Lord?